Area clearance allows you to remove a large portion of material within a selected vector. The area clearance toolpath is located under 2D toolpaths. The dialog and options are similar to the profile dialog. Here, I am just entering a finished depth for the pocket that I'd like to create. An allowance can also be set. This could be to either leave some material on the pocket or to take more material out. I'll explain final tool allowance in a moment. For now, I'm going to add a 12 mm end mill to the tool list. You'll notice that when I add this tool, the parameters of the tool are automatically displayed and you can see that the step down is quite large for this tool. So let's change this to 2.5 millimeters. So it does it in two passes. There are two different strategies that you could use for doing the area clearance. By default, raster, this will come across in X, step over in Y, and then come back across in X and step over in Y again. There is also offset, which will follow the shape of the boundary and step inwards or outwards, depending on the start point that you select below. I can then set up the material as I would for any of the other tool paths. Let's give this a material thickness of 12 millimeters and set the Z origin at the top. Then calculate the tool path, which will then be shown in gray. And you can see how it's following the shape and offsetting. The problem that I have here is that I have sharp corners on the pocket. The corners for the center island are fine because the tool is rolling around them and creating a sharp corner. But the internal corners, the tool will not be able to get right in there because of the radius of the tool. So there is a six millimeter radius in those corners as can be seen on the simulation. This will never be a completely sharp corner because I need to use a diameter tool to machine it. But I can add smaller tools to the area clearance to get further in. The smaller tools will only machine the areas where the previous larger tool could not machine. This is known as rest machining. If I zoom in on the corner, you'll see that the smaller tools are now getting into that corner and I can simulate each smaller tool to show how much material it is removing. Going back to the final tool allowance, this will leave the amount of material specified until the final finishing tool comes and finishes it to the correct size and takes this material off.